hello and welcome back to the wellness check I thought I would do a little mini series on some book reviews books that are popular in the mental health field particularly kind of in the mental health that I do with eating disorders and trauma and um, healing and all of that um, and just bear with me for this video because a really big storm is about to blow through and I'm going to try to make this quick but you might hear um, some creaking and cracking and wind blowing and things like that. <laughs> so today's book, a um, little, a little uh, word of caution if you are sensitive to cuss words or curse words, just kind of like, I'm, I'm not going to say the word, but it's on the book. Um, so avert your eyes for just a moment. But this right here, and I hope it's not backwards, um, is one of my favorite books. This is a book by Caroline Dooner, and I'm not sponsored by any means. I'm not. I just really like this book, and I want to share the good news. Um, this is what I do to my books. It's what I call Katieify them, um, and I'll tell you why I do this in just a minute. This is a very sassy book. If you cannot tell, there's a lot of this word in the book. It's a very easy read. Um, it's beneficial both for clinicians to read this as well as just anybody out there who might be struggling with relationship with food and body whether we're talking about either end of the of the spectrum of eating disorders or disordered eating so one thing I love about this book is that it breaks it down in a very simple way it's not that big of a book and where I have tabbed it you will see little prompts so you get to read you get to kind of get some psychoeducation and some encouragement a lot of um, questions get answered in this book about what does it mean if I have this symptom or if I'm doing this or thinking this what's happening and all of that is explained in this book when it comes to relationship with food and body not only that but also how to like completely free yourself from it um, as you can tell by the title or by the title um, it's against diet culture. Um, it's a way to establish balance and, um, like I said before, just freedom with food and body again. But anyways, where you find these tabs are little prompts. So you get to have a little break in the reading and I recommend my clients to journal. So where, wherever these little tabs are to read these prompts and to journal it and to bring it back and talk about it in the session together. So not only are we getting a lot of therapeutic done work in the office, but outside of the office, they are able to kind of keep their head screwed on right when, when temptation comes or when impulses or cravings come. This can help work them through whatever that obstacle is in a healthy, productive way, especially if they're taking the time to sit down and work through those uh, prompts. Then they come into the office, we break it down, we talk about it, talk about the thoughts and feelings or the pressure points around it, as well as how uh, it has helped them and what they've noticed when they try thinking about things in different ways, um, adding you know, cognitive, well, cognitive behavioral therapy, there, there's a lot of that in this book, but also just challenging old diet myths. Um, another thing I like about this book is it's broken down into a couple parts. I like it when a book is broken down into parts. Um, it makes me feel a little bit more productive as I'm reading. But there's a whole chapter on the physical part of everything having to do with food and body. Then we have an emotional part we also have a mental part and a thriving part. So we're really covering all of the bases here. And if you've watched any of my videos on eating disorders before, you know how complex they are, how deeply embedded they are into our nervous system. And in order to truly recover, we have to look at so many different facets and layers of who this individual is to kind of comb out the eating disorder from those various parts. Um, let's see, there was something else I wanted to kind of mention here. 
Sorry, I just bumped the microphone. I will tell you that the clients that have made it through this entire book and we've done the work together and we, we talk about it and we revisit the prompts are all in a pretty good place in terms of their recovery, in terms of their therapeutic goals. Um, I feel like it it's able to have them think about their body, the way that they respond to the world, their coping mechanisms, their needs for control or what, what they do when they feel a lack of control in their lives. It really helps to lend a lot of insight and encouragement in a really fun way. That's what I like about this book. Oftentimes, books in the mental health field are very clinical, they're very heavy, they're very psychoeducational, and while that's great, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And, and some people are already so overwhelmed that it's hard to loop into a book that you really have to focus on every single word. And this book is not only psychoeducational, but very fun. So check this book out. Uh, I know you can get it in hardback, you can get it in um, paperback, and you can also get it on uh, streaming, like Audible ebook type thing, ebook and Audible. So that's my tip of the day, my word of encouragement for you. I've seen wonderful things come from my clients' progress when they take the time to work through this book. So. I hope that you are going to like some of these treasures that I've found over my course of time in private practice and I in, in terms of books and I can't wait to share more with you. So stay tuned. And if there's anything, any subject matter maybe that you might be struggling with and you would like some book recommendations, please let me know and I'm happy to do a book review on it with you. Okay, as always, thank you for checking in with your wellness and I'll see you soon.